What was your impression of the Shapley and Graves testimony yesterday, Colonel Mills? Uh, it was it was explosive. We're having whistleblower after whistleblower that is coming forward. Confidence breeds confidence. Boldness breeds boldness. This was decisive and important with, with Shapley and Ziegler. And Ziegler was just mag magnificent. This is what happens. You know, we, we were supposed to have the most transparent gover, gov, uh, government ever. And here whistleblowers are coming forward, following the process, and they're just getting slapped down internally at IRS. I mean, the quote of the day was from Kwaisi Mpume, a uh, U.S. rep from Maryland, who said, uh, you know, the DOJ, the FBI, keep democracy in check. I think he actually meant what he said. This is this is insanity. Uh, so here we have very credible witnesses telling what what's going on. This is being this is being uh, pocket veto. This is being hidden. This is uh, this is the game. They there is two Americas, and a Biden crime family gets off uh, with nothing here. There there this is absolute obstruction of justice and what's going on here. So where do where do we go in your opinion? You've you've been in the deep straight. You've been part of the administrative state. Where do we go from here? Uh, we we have to go forward with impeachment proceedings against key uh, Biden officials. I mean, what is going on here? You know, we we got IRS whistleblowers. We have FBI whistleblowers. We know there's Treasury suspicious activity reports, which I think the SARS are associated with Chapley and Ziegler. Um, but it goes back further than that also. Uh, this is very credible. They were clearly blocked. This, they, they blocked, uh, you know, and, and who was it? The U.S. Matt Graves, the U.S. attorney for D.C., uh, you know, a donor to uh, the Bidens, uh, is, you know, sitting on this and stifling this. And uh, so this is, a, this, this is a grave harm to our republic to not let these proceedings go forward internally and an investigation. Uh, uh, now, the U.S. Attorney for Delaware wants to quibble. Uh, that's Matt. That's Weiss, who wants to quibble over the difference between the special attorney or special counsel. Oh, come on! Let's either one doesn't matter. Let's do one of them. And uh, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is very important. All kinds of violations of federal law here. We have to let the process go forward in public absolute transparency and accountability here. So I think they need to start, uh, I think, okay, so their ultimate boss before the president uh, is uh, uh, the Treasury Secretary Yellen. So impeach Yellen. Uh, you know, we got to stop funding, put a pl uh, place a hold on funding uh, for uh, for the IRS, for Treasury, and don't forget uh, oh, The Republicans are never going to do that, John. John they're never going to do that. They're never going to do any of that the best we're going to get is down the road after all this investigation is done is some kind of an impeachment. They're never going to cut the funding, John, because they've only got a five or six or seven seat majority, whatever it is, six seat majority. And there's enough Republicans that are going to say, oh, you can't you can't cut the funding. They're all good people. There's a few better. It's just the same thing. It's the same mantra we get over and over and over. That's what their frustration is. Nothing ever happens. Just talk. But if you look at yesterday, it's almost like the Al Capone syndrome. Here's what Americans understand. He got audited, Hunter Biden. They determined that he took deductions that were unacceptable to the IRS. They never amended their return. He never had to pay anything, pay anything extra. They basically said, hey, don't do that again. Any American that has filled out their tax return and been audited, you have to write a check you got to amend the return. He doesn't do it. And so they just look the other way. Uh, but it, it seems to me that the government, that the, the Republicans were kind of going over the, uh, you know, after the Al Capone approach. But, John, average Americans understand, and I know this isn't a big deal compared to Biden getting $30 million wires to, from foreign countries. But let's break this down. The guy doesn't even have to pay the back taxes back that he legitimately owes. What is your reaction to that? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think even w with the Al Capone approach, we can greatly simplify and throw all these hearings out the window. Uh, did the Biden family, did they or did they not uh, write a check for about $40 million to account for the $100 million that they've received? Yes or no, as simple as that. So the tactical uh, 
uh, uh, issues of not having proper uh, on the returns, uh, the with you know those those things what they claimed uh, that what they claimed on taxes and correcting that that's one thing. Let's just find out. Let's just cut right to the chase. Skip all of these proceedings and say did they or did they not write a check to the treasury uh, for well roughly 40, 40 million. Okay, be generous. Maybe they're twenty eight percent tax. Uh, so maybe. 30 million on this 100 million. Did they or did they not? Yes or no? They, of course they didn't. So, uh, you know, amending the existing tax returns on uh, differences of opinion on uh, di di different itemizations they claim. Okay, that's that's got to do that too. But hey, did they write a check to the treasury? No, of course they didn't. Okay, boom, got them. Guys, let's just, just skip all this uh, street theater. And uh, we, got, we got them on the Al Capone program. They didn't even pay on the... Uh, you know, roughly 100 million that they've received over the years from China. So let's get them on that. Come on, stop, stop fooling around with this, uh, with this, uh, uh, all, all these hearings uh, and and the challenges. Is the U.S. is the Republicans with their slim majority going to do something about it? Did they write a check to the Treasury? I, it's my, it's my. Let's just let's just get, jump to the cut to the chase, simplify this, and right to the point.